initially when I decided to create this YouTube channel, it was based on covering the British and Irish Lions tour to South Africa. I even got myself tickets for the test match, for two test matches. Um, the one in Johannesburg as well and in Cape Town. And my idea was to cover the interaction between the various fans, Springbok fans and British and Irish Lions fans. The other reason why I created this YouTube channel was to cover South Africa, the South African franchise's participation in the, it was going to be called the Pro 16, but we all know that the name that, um, that was chosen was the United Rugby Championship. So guys, if you want coverage and um, commentary and discussions about the United Rugby Championship, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to cover that like crazy. So we all know that in the last couple of days, they released the fixtures for all the teams that will be participating in this tournament. Now, my plan for this channel is, obviously we all know that currently in South Africa, no fans are allowed at stadium. Um, my plan is actually to buy season tickets for all the Stormers games. And um, obviously then going to the stadium, uh, interacting with the visiting supporters and just capturing the vibe at, this, at match days and also my plan is also to hopefully travel um, to, to watch Stormers away games in Europe so that's basically my, my vision and my plan for this channel so the rugby championship it's here we have like four weeks left until the first games are being played so I just want to go through some of the fixtures, especially for the South African franchises, and see what um, important matchups each franchise will, will play in and when that games will occur. So firstly, we have the Stormers. So the Stormers, they will be playing against Benetton on the 25th of September. So obviously on that day, um, it's a away game, so it's a away game for the Stormers against Benetton. Then, then the second game is basically one of the most important games for the Stormers in this tournament, and that is the second game on the second of October against Munster away in Ireland. Then the other important game is against. Um, Arguably the best Irish side in the tournament is against Leinster, which is only in the th on the 30th of April next year. So there's still a very long way to go until the Stormers play Leinster. And likewise, Scarlets, which will be the last game of the season, which will be on the 21st of May. Other notable clashes um, will be against the top Scottish side, which is Glasgow Warriors on the 23rd of April and against the other Welsh um, sides, which will be against Cardiff on the 4th December. So that is the Stormers' most important games that they will be playing. What I also like about these fixtures is that normally in South Africa, we never had rugby during the December and um, January time period. And to have rugby in December, which is normally South Africa's holiday period. It's in the middle of the summer, uh, or the beginning of the summer season. And to have rugby that time on television, it will be magnifique bliss. So I can't wait for that. Then let's look at the Bulls, the Bulls fixtures. So the Bulls are kicking off against the number one side in the competition. And that is Leinster on the 25th of September. Now that's going to be a crack of a game. I think the Bulls playing against Leinster will basically set the benchmark um, for this tournament. Um, the Bulls, I know the Bulls that they didn't do well against Benetton in that final. Um, but I don't think that the Bulls will walk in the same trap again. So the Bulls will be facing Leinster on the 25th. Then um, Connaught, um, the, the following week on the 1st of October, and then on the 7th of November, they'll face Munster and they will face Scarlet. So the Bulls, the first four games are away and then they will, they will be playing Munster at Loftus Fersfeld. 
so that's gonna be interesting um yeah so that's the bulls i think that's the important fixtures for the bulls then we have the sharks the sharks will be kicking off um away the first game will be against Munster. that too will be a very important game that will set the tone and the Sharks, they are actually a very exciting team. They've got a very exciting place in their ranks. A huge amount of Springboks in their ranks. So that game will be also important against Munster. And then they play against um, Glasgow Warriors on the second. And then the game against Leinster will be next year, the 23rd of April. Um, so those are the, the top teams that the Sharks will be playing and the Lions which will be probably the weakest the Lions are the weakest of the four African franchises their first game will be in Zebra on the 24th of September um, and then they play Scarlets which, which, which are the, the top Welsh team and then they play the top Scottish team um, Glasgow Warriors on the 9th and the last game away from home will be against Ulster on the, 20th, on the 15th of October. Then in December they'll they'll take on uh, Munster home, and they will take on Leinster on the 7th of January away from home. So that that's the, the important fixtures for the African franchises. Then I also noted that in the in the UK the United Rugby Championship will be broadcasted on free-to-air television. So that's actually very really good. Um, in South Africa, the broadcast partner is Supersport, which is behind a pay a pay role. So the fact that um, the tournament will be viewed on free-to-air television networks, I think it bodes very well for the tournament and will give um, exposure to all the clubs and players to the broader UK audience. South Africa is still under um, a lockdown level whereby no, no um, fans can attend matches at the stadium. The current choice in South Africa regarding the COVID-19 is that on average there's 12,000 cases um, but I think the most important thing is to look at, is to look at the vaccination rates which at this moment South Africa is sitting at 8.8% of the population being fully vaccinated whereby 11 million people um, receive at least one dose and um, 5.2 million people are fully vaccinated so I, I'm assuming if that numbers can increase then we'll come to a point where we can possibly have fans at the stadium to watch and follow the United Rugby Championship. So guys, that's just a uh, quick rundown of the fixtures concerning the African franchises. I'm looking forward to this tournament. I can't wait for the I can't wait for this tournament to start. And um, and I hope that you guys will follow me on this platform, on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Thank you.